Good morning. Thank you for joining me for another devotion. This morning we're going to consider uh, some work on the Psalms once again. It's fairly common to be asked for commentary recommendations on a particular book of the Bible. In my library I try to have a number of different kinds of commentaries on my shelves. Some of them are thin and others are thick. Some of them are simple, others are scholarly. Some of them are more devotional, more pastoral. Some are pretty much a simple summary, while others are rather academic. I find benefit from all kinds of commentaries. Well, a few days ago, I recommended during one of these devotions the reading and the praying daily of the Psalms. And since that time, a number of people have asked me about particular commentaries on the Bible, particularly on the Psalms, to help them in their study. Well, today I'd like to recommend and introduce to you, perhaps some of you, one of my favorite commentaries on the Psalms. It's by C.H. Spurgeon, and it's called The Treasury of David. As Pastor Jeffrey and I have been privileged to offer you some devotions from our own study and thought, I thought this would be a good time to recommend this particular uh, set of books on the Psalms because it is rather devotional. These three books by Spurgeon cover all 150 Psalms. Each of the Psalms starts with an introduction, which is actually a summary of the contents of that particular Psalm. It then goes to an exposition, which is basically a verse by verse explanation of the Psalm. After this, Charles Spurgeon provides a section called Explanatory Notes and Quaint Sayings. These are basically biblical quotes, study quotes from other people. And then finally, there are little summary outlines called Hints for Preachers. Now, you can see it's not thin. It's actually three volumes of not thin. But these Books, this work by Spurgeon blends a love for the scriptures with a pastor's heart. They are very readable. They are well worth your time. They should certainly be in your library. Well, I hope this is a beneficial recommendation for all of you, and I trust that the Lord will continue to bless you. Thank you for joining me, and have a blessed day.